Hey, good on by, man. Hey. Uh, Chris, let's write a new episode of The Simpsons <laughs> where Lyle defeats this guy, right? <laughs> a okay. new episode of The Simpsons? Yep. Why Kate. did you do like a Mexican Bart? Because uh, that's, that's the episode. Dude. That's the episode. Oh, yeah. yeah you... The episode is the Bumblebee Man become Bart dies and <laughs> the fan, Bumblebee Man becomes the Bart. New Bart because they're mourning. They're in such grief. <laughs> he shows up at Bart's funeral. You know, one time we had a you nice chat. Yeah. Ah. You know, one time I talked to Bart and uh, I think I got the gist of him. I think I can be him. <laughs> He only says one thing in Spanish, so I think I can handle it. He says one thing in Spanish, so I'm basically the part. Okay. Marge, Bart is back to life. This is Bart. just as good, if not better. Well, he's been resurrected as a meek. And Marge is talking a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> talking a lot of sense. And then, and then, and he's that... convinced me on many a thing. <laughs> that is my child. I know you are it. my boy. <laughs> and then, and then, and then we cut to, and then we cut to the road of the Simpsons car, the iconic Simpsons car driving. Wait, wait, wait what, what are the seven stages of grief? There's like one of them is delusion. <laughs> what are this? Uh, <laughs> Delu delusion, fear, hatred, bigotry. <laughs> fucking, he, he fucking like targets the Simpsons while they're all deluded. Yeah, and yeah. He preys on them. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, they're still in denial, base. I think the first step is denial. <laughs> That's it, not delusion. Yeah, they're, Del they're all in denial, and, uh, and you're deluded. <laughs> And then we cut, we cut then to the Simpsons car driving, and uh, of course Homer and Marge are in the front. In the back seat we see Bumblebee Man ripping out Lisa's hair, and, and Homer goes, stop! And Homer goes, stop! Bart! Yeah, get her! Bart, leave your sister alone. Like and he's being way too rough with her, he's actually kind of hurting her. She's got bruises and welts over her arms and shit. He's <laughs> pinching her really hard on you. <laughs> He's got like a smile on his face, so he kind of enjoys it. It's, it's, like, the, you. it's like the good song <laughs> where Marge yells at Lisa for it. Lisa, <laughs> stop antagonizing yeah, your Lisa, brother. Lisa, leave your brother alone. Your Help brother Ma, just came back. Lisa, we thought he was dead. We thought he was dead. This is. Now you be nice to him. You be nice to your new Bart brother. I got him, and he hey, squeezes her on the head. He's laughing. I am never gonna get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the Bumblebee Man so funny now? It's because he's sadistic. He's evil. Oh wait, you were supposed to hit with the purple. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's what you do. Uh, then Mr. Burns notices Bart's new talents. <laughs> Oops, it's called Bart's new talent. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, bring your boy into the nuclear power plant. Your boy is something special. He's Thank very you. cool and funny. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Burns. Ah, uh, Mr. Burns, uh, he is very cute and funny. No, Mr. Burns, he's mine. He's mine. <laughs> you can't have him smooth. <laughs> he becomes this beloved character. Everyone, everyone's fighting over him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fat man taking our resources. <laughs> this is a fat man's world. It's not a dog eat dog world. It's a it's fat, a fat man. man. It's, a, it's a bit of a it's fat. A fa it's a, in the words of Joe Biden, it's a it's a fat eat fat world. It's, it's a <laughs> fat eat fat world. <laughs> I, I oh, wish no. I heard. I mean, I don't wish it. I like that he ended on fat. You fat. Look but fat. uh. Look fat. Look here's the deal. Look I wonder fat. what was gonna come fat. after that if he had it kept going. Look fat. <laughs> he challenged him to a push-up contest, which came, came after him. Yeah, look, he challenged him to a push-up contest. <laughs> look, that'll challenge you to push-ups. Let's do push-ups together, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Imagine if he became the president and that, like, like you could say, I was called look fat by the president. <laughs> the president called me fat. I mean, Zach, Zach said you can say fat. that the president blocked you on Twitter, right? Yeah, I can. I can technically say that because it's uh, true. And he, he blocked me before he was even before he even ran by a couple of years when he was just uh, the, the the TV guy. Oh, hold it! Hold! Hold it now! Hold it now! Hold it! Hold it right there! You oh, wouldn't drop. Couldn't drop. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> I'm kind of sleepy. No! 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 no, no. Are you saying this action-packed game doesn't have you on the edge of your seat <laughs> at every turn? <laughs> Who does that again? Oh, Tomer does that. That's what Tomer I've does. never. No, I've we, never. We went, on a, we went on that trip to Big Bear, and then we walked in on you sleeping your room. <laughs> well, is no. it worse? We, we, no, were in the, no. we were in the museum and... The Tomar Museum. The Tomar Museum. We were at the Great Miyazaki Me Museum. And Tomar did that. And you push the button on the wall and it says, Tomar used to sleep like this when he was alive. Tomar was <laughs> me. <laughs> it was okay. a thrilling opening. Sorry I didn't comment more. I'm still 
trying to eat oh, yeah, sucking my dinner. Off his beard. <laughs> Tomar's just fucking stuffing his hole hey, with like joy. It's, it's, five, it's five guys, beard. not Popeyes. Popeyes off but my both beard. of them lie. Both of them rhyme. You could make a rap with all the food you're eating right now. Lol, I have to do it's this just level because it's fucking cool. Five guys in Popeyes going straight to my thighs. I am Tomar, very wise. Everyone knows I'm in disguise. Two of you and one of me, Tomar, every bald man be. You know what, fuck it, we should be different. <laughs> we, we should always be someone different, we gotta mix this up. Alright. Tomar, would you remember when we went to Iceland and we were sitting next to each other in the hot spring and then all the water got really brown around you and you got up and left and then we didn't see you for the rest of the week? It was uh, weird. I mean, I- no, I don't remember that, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to go to Iceland really bad. Even after that hypothetical scenario that you laid out, even after even the even after the Iceland the Iceland brown the water incident, self fulfilling prophecy. I still want to do it. Yeah. Hey, can we explain why we're so rated? Yeah. We're playing this with GameCube controllers plugged into the Wii U adapter, and to run on this version, you have to hold down Y, and none of us fucking thought to do that because it's a fucking 3D platformer and you don't put a run button in a fucking analog 3D platformer. If one person can simply answer why putting a run button in a 3D platformer is a good idea without looking like a stupid asshole. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Please, please, please continue to watch. Don't fucking unsubscribe. Thank you. <laughs> that was your brave stand. <laughs> Chris, I... I completely agree. The first time I played on the GameCube controller, it was it was a total hassle to hit the Y button. It's, See, as, the sim first it's time, as simple as that. The first time I played on the GameCube controller, my eyes lit up and I just remembered. <laughs> no, but you know what, Tommy? We are wrong because we're not supposed to play a fucking Switch game with a GameCube controller. The controller is over 20 years old. And but we had just been playing Smash Brothers at, at the time. But they didn't design the game with the GameCube controller in mind. It just so happened to work. And the That's sun correct. was in our eyes. And I have a deformity in my fingers, though. I, I have to hold it like a crab. Yeah, actually, Chris has <laughs> but two large fingies that he holds every controller hey, with. Folks, you got enough excuses yet? There's a few more on Chris's Twitter. I Tomar's think. dying. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to go go find me for you, Tomar. I got a few messages that were like, "Hey, uh, I saw that you can't afford." A, a Joy-Con, and I, like, if you want me to send you a Joy-Con, I, I, like, I can give you one, it's like, fuck, people thought- yeah, you know that, no matter what you say, someone will always I said interpret that, it unironically. I said someone burgled a portion of my Joy-Con, <laughs> and people thought it was serious. I don't know, we do have a bit of a burglary problem in here. Yeah, turd burglar, Lyle. Ah, you got me. But you didn't say it three times, so I can continue to steal to my heart's content. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! <laughs> By what? the way, mm -hmm. we need to talk about me and Tomar's new enterprise. Uh, what is it? Oh. We're talking, of course, mm. about CrackMilf.com. Ooh! <laughs> That's right. CrackMilf.com is your one-stop shop to We Haven't Figured It Out Yet. But we bought the domain, hurriedly, <laughs> as soon as we realized it was available. Wait, so, well, how did you figure out that CrackMilf.com was available? Okay, it, so the, so the story goes, in 1965, <laughs> gr old Grandpa Lylebert Hand me down <laughs> the original. Yeah, the original wow, okay. Lilbert, Yeah, yeah. I, I got I got this this box and it was this ornate box with an old carbine on it and carved into the the carbine was a cracked. Isn't milf. a carbine a rifle? Yeah, my, oh, okay, my grandpa okay. put it in his mouth and that that story ends not fun, but. The point is, inscribed on it was crackmilf.com, and ever since, I, I, I carried this company on in his name. And now we own the domain for it, and we can do whatever we want. Tomar, we can yeah, put it your was, face as the was, entry page. It was stolen for a while by, uh... <laughs> By Ukrainian separatists. By the woman from Breaking Bad that <laughs> looks like a crack milf. But anyway, yeah, we, we now own crackmilf.com and the world is our oyster, Tomar. We're also declaring that it's worth at least $100,000, so, uh, auction starts next week. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever wants crackmilf.com has to start at least at hundred grand, And we might consider knocking off 10% for a friend. Right, and I'm also gonna put a city... A city... A little, a little shitty. Shitty. I'm going to put, like a little shitty. I'm gonna put it there and put one there. I am going. I have opened up my TV and, and I found inside. a little shitty inside. I want to be the master of disguise. That's what Bjork said, right? <laughs> yeah. It looks I want like to be the master of it disguise. looks like a little shitty, like a little <laughs> model of a shitty. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. What? If, what? if anyone was ever gonna get stalked. It was gonna be her. <laughs> she's Why? so cute. Dude, she's, she's so that, that, cute. That voice is so hot. And by the way, she's very wholesome too. Yeah. Her, her voice, I could fall asleep to at any time. I'm I'll telling tell you, you, there's a reason, dude. 
you can't blame the guy, dude. No, you, yes, you can blame <laughs> the guy. Tomer, you have to give him credit, though, for his wits. He had his wits about him. He did, dude. He had his wits about him. Tomer, he had his wits about him. He, he was, was going to be clipped. This is, this is... Dude, it was, he was under her spell, Oni dude. plays, Oni plays, and, and creator of Smiling Friends, uh, <laughs> hey, co defend, co Bjork, Bjork, sympathize with Bjork Stalker. We're not defending him. We're, We're just defending agreeing with him. Justify the, the, We're the actions We're rationalizing and normalizing Stalker. what he did. We're not, just pushing his narrative. We're just saying exactly <laughs> what he wanted us to say. <laughs> we just are him reincarnated. His so Chris has one of his, his left half and I have his right half. That guy was a little crazy. You gotta admit that. <laughs> he was a bit... <laughs> he was a bit... Ding dong, ding dong. Are those like cartoon sound effects? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chris is playing through the entire Hanna-Barbera <laughs> sound effects library. <laughs> There's so much cool stuff we can do. Like? Uh, we can talk to deer. Such as? Say hello, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, uh, pigs in video games. Such as? <laughs> Such as? I love it's like the, the meanest elaborate. shit ever. <laughs> yeah. Such as? What was his fucking deal? Makes him elaborate, doesn't like it. Yeah, it doesn't oh, like it. Oh, that'd be- Oh, what? Oh my it's, god. Uh, there's a goblinoid attempting to uh, <laughs> try to take my life, you dirty little thing, you dirty little bastard. You I think this game man. has actual goblins in it, but they're very late game. Well, that's a goblinoid for sure, man. <laughs> that is tell some water of a goblinoid. He drops resin. I'm taking that. No He's goblinoid comes tree. up against me. I'm sick of this eyesore log. It just pisses me off. Can't oh, is it, it one of the ones that's Which too one? powerful to cut? It's too powerful. <laughs> one of the it's white logs. Powerful. You'd have to spend the equivalent of 142,000 USD <laughs> to break that log, man. <laughs> USD? <laughs> 150,000 USD. No, my cousin did it. He had to put his uh, he had to put his house up to do it. What are we actually collecting right now? Is it boar trophies? Well, I'll tell you what we're collecting. Very simply, we're collecting memories. Good time. Yeah. Why am I the only one closeless? I feel like someone idiot. already used all the flint. I because when you on. die, right. it, it takes your tunic off, so you get to right click on it to put it back on. Oh, I have to run back to my corpse. I lost my pants. No, no, I no. feel like a big baby. I say my pants vanished too. I don't yeah. think you start with pants. Maybe I think you did right. start with the grit of your teeth. Speaking Marjo, of boars, I, I never told the story of this fucking psycho that I was dealing with on Craigslist. You get some real top-notch people on there, let me tell you. I was trying to sell like one of my guitars and I just put it on Craigslist. This guy just offered me like this fucking like schizophrenic handful of shit. He was like, he was like, oh yeah, I've got like a graphics card, I've got some camera equipment, I've got a, a just, boxer he's, he's puppy, a trader, huh? and I've got a I've got a wild boar. I'm like, fucking excuse me? You didn't take the boar? Well, I tried. I was like, alright, let's get that pig, because you know, I'm all about that. I'm all about uh, there's very few things known about me, and one of them is that I'm all about that life. Most so of the I time like, I hang out with Lyle, he says, let's pig up, and that usually means let's go get a pig or let's talk about pigs or let's just be involved with pigs somehow. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a big part of the community. Anyway. Yeah, pig so, up. So yeah, like dude fucking like flakes oh. on me. Uh next day I get this message and he's like, Man, I tried to come, but as I was walking across the street, I got hit by a truck. <laughs> And I was like, what? Are you okay? He's like, yeah, not only did I get hit by a truck, 10 other people got hit by the same truck. <laughs> and I was like, that's weird. And he like gave me like all these like unnecessary details about like the guy's bumper stick. I could fucking read this off for you. It's, it's fucking lying, then. Isn't that a, cl a common like lying tactic? Is yeah, they, 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 they talk about detail? that in like fucking Reservoir Dogs when the guy's trying to fit in with the cops. He's like, make your story as detailed as possible. Talk about the little things. I mean, if anything, it would be like an indicator to the contrary, right? If somebody doesn't ask questions, yeah, and you just like needlessly start elaborating about like how you got hit by a truck and like, yeah, it implies that you don't expect to be believed. Yeah. So, so, so he said, uh, yeah, I can come tomorrow. I got hit by a car today when I was walking to Guitar Center. I'm not oh, injured I bad, killed, by the way. but I can still drive and stuff. <laughs> but I had to drive. I had to deal with a bunch of BS and cops and shit because five other people were hit to some asshole in a giant Ford F-350 with four wheels, huge truck, little dick, puddle of mud, limp biscuit sticker on the back of his truck, stepping ladder too, mowed me and two groups of people walking to their car. <laughs> 
<laughs> this guy's such a fucking psycho. Yeah, Why did he... Oh. Does that sound sound of mine? So, wait, so, so did you get the boar? Is the question? So, so I was like, shit, <laughs> man. Is there a boar in your home. Well, yeah, I was like, I was like, shit, man. Here? Like, okay, yeah, tomorrow works. So next day, he just fucking flakes on me again, and then he goes, hey, man, lost my phone. I just got a new one, and I still need that axe. Can we meet tomorrow? And I was just like, I, I just, I just want to talk to this guy for the story at this point. And then he just like flaked on me a couple more times and like begged to buy the guitar and then I never got the pig. It fucking sucked, uh, man. He never got dude. I wanted, I yeah, wanted dude. the pig ending. So this Wait, is what you do. I have the funniest thing. It might be the funniest bit on the history of this channel. You ready? Okay. You gonna push him? <gasps> Alright. Oh, fuck. Okay, Tomar. Okay, glanced. Yes? You are going to be a tax accountant, okay? <laughs> Alright, and, okay. and I am gonna be Super Mario from the Super Mario franchise. Okay. And this will be the funniest Whoa. bit. On the channel, okay? Okay, I feel right, so now, Okay, now, so now I'm Super Mario as, as of right now. Right? Okay. Um... So what would you consider, like, write-off material? Like, I, I know I bought, I bought a new PC. Well, you said, did you say you were a plumber? Yeah. Uh, so really any expenses related to, um, like, your, your plumbing business? Okay. Like if if you if, if you if you truck if you exclusively use your truck for your truck. business you I can get right off. I don't even have a car. I use Uber. This is like oh, family. Guy. <laughs> this is like a terrible family guy. <laughs> this is just family guy. Oh look at this. <laughs> yeah, this is it's the perfect time. He's not looking. <laughs> okay, well yes. It's the end of her. Hey, buddy. That's Madam. Perfect. You did it. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh, 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 Cory, uh, come up with a new DLC for Resident Evil 2, go. Yeah, Cory, expand on the story, the lore. Okay. Alright, let's- okay, here, we'll, we'll help you build it. You play as- in this DLC, you play as what? Go ahead, go. Ash Redfield. Ash Redfield, <laughs> alright. The new relative to Chris that no one knew about. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, he's- he's- he's four foot five, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and what, what's he doing? Where is he in Raccoon City? What's he doing there? He's not in Raccoon City. He Where? happens to be visiting a zoo when the outbreak happens. <laughs> but, but the outbreak happens. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, he's four foot five. He's at the zoo. Is he a child? <laughs> <laughs> no. How old? Yeah, well, yeah. Yes. Okay. He is. He accidentally falls into the the silverback. He's Chris's little, silver he's back, Chris, <laughs> he's little cousin Ash Redfield, and he's at the zoo, miles away from the outbreak <laughs> happening. He's nowhere. He's yeah. in no danger at all. Suddenly, a silverback really comes out and like picks him up and tosses him at the wall. And then the police all say he must have the T virus. Kill him. They start shooting the, the gorilla to death, which unleashes the bees that start stinging everybody. And now the zoo zoo is infected because the, 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 the gorilla he and this is why when the outbreak happened they had no trained officials to handle it they all died with the, the, the bee outbreak trying to save Ash Redfield of course this is lore this lore is beautiful Corey Jesus Christ thank you why did, why did you say the bees I don't know where the fuck did the bees come from when they're shooting the gorilla the fucking the gorilla was a hive the whole time! <laughs> okay, okay, Corey. Thank you. It wasn't making it was look in my eyes, but you did. <laughs> I'm sorry. You fucking bastard. Well, Chris, is, Chris has the, the crying cat eyes right now that, from laughing. Uh, that was so stupid. It was really dumb. <laughs> He gets shot, releasing the bees. <laughs> what did, who said the bees had VT virus at all? <laughs> there is no T virus there. Why does the bees come out? No, the bees are infected Editor, with the T virus. I want you to go back and put a countdown timer from when Corey says that until the point where I realize what the fuck I just heard. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh my god. That was great, Corey. Thank you. You're welcome. By the way, that's just the intro. What happens next? What happens to Ash Redfield's story? <laughs> okay, so after the B outbreak, <laughs> he goes into a. Wait, 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 you're making the DLC here. What's the player doing? The player's just watching Ash Redfield get smashed by gorillas and the bees. This is all out. just a 30 minute cutscene that you right. can't skip. Alright, the game starts. The bees are everywhere. Ash is smashed against the wall, dead. You're trying to walk with tank controls as bees bite you, so you can't use your gun. So you, you have to use action commands to knock the bees away so you can blow them away with a shotgun. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, there's more, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Corey. So when you finally get inside, you have to do a, a small mini game with both of the clown music playing. Wait, no. It's like a Home Alone oh, vibe. 
I don't even know what's going on in the story. Ash Redfield. <laughs> wait, we're gonna wait for this cutscene to shut up. Thanks, sir. <laughs> okay, Ash Redfield. <laughs> He gets a call on his, on his Nokia 3810. <laughs> it's Chris Redfield's <laughs> big cousin. He says, oh, oh, oh. He says, hello, <laughs> Chris, uh, Chris Red, my cousin Chris Redfield. And Chris says, Ash, there's a zombie outbreak and I need your help. <laughs> you know, I'm still a people with balloons. It's like, I'm 500 miles and still with bees. It's like, I'm sending a drone over to collect you right now. <laughs> but my mom, my dad. <laughs> the drone comes down with a big fucking claw and picks up Ash Redfield from the dungarees and flies <laughs> away the with him. <laughs> so he brings, okay, so he drops uh, it in a raccoon city. Suddenly, a bunch of Antifa starts throwing bottles at the drone child, and he falls into a fucking tree and down the sewer. So and now, now he's in the that's sewer. where the game starts proper. Okay, you finally he's in the start. Sewer system. So the first setting you see is the fucking dreary sewer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's hard to see and anything. After the, the perfect five minutes first level. Scenes. It's hard to see anything. You have 15 second <laughs> battery after, life that you have to continuously smack your thing to work. After you're emotionally invested in your parents murdered by bees. <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> That's a game mechanic to smack your light to work. You have to continually smack your butt. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game. That's genius. This is like the worst. Continue. This is the worst fucking idea for yeah. okay. <laughs> so this, When this goes live, Capcom's gonna take you away from the office <laughs> for you. You're gonna be all the awesome. What the fuck is this genius? <laughs> Okay, so when you run into your- oh, no, 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 Jesus, Jesus no, Christ. Fuck. Dude, get out of the door! Does he have a shotgun with He's the a skin on launcher. it? Mm. Oh my god, okay. Oh, you're, so, you're in the jury sewer, the perfect first level Yeah, you run aesthetic. into your first zombie. You have to make sure that you're not smacking your thing because it also interrupts you being able to shoot your bullets. Uh, oh god. <laughs> He's That's... like, Cory, get back here! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you're in the sewer. You're in the sewer. Where, where is Ash going? Why is he in the sewer? What's he's the, trying what? to make his way to Chris? That's like that's like the whole point of the game is Chris is going to protect you from the zombie outbreak. Yeah, you got to get to Chris. And so Chris you have needs to your help. He, need, he needs oh, yeah. your like teenage what? or he needs your uh your your tech prowess because you're a fucking with an iPad. Yeah, 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 yeah you have an iPad, but broke, so you have to get a new iPad. He's for like, your Ash, big bro, I can't Chris. be Five Nights at Freddy's. It scares me too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> your your SpongeBob flashlight keeps going out consistently, so that's why you oh, have to smack it. Oh my god, he shoots rockets! Dude, holy fuck, I didn't know he chased you around like this. It's crazy. Yeah, it's fucking cool. Okay, Ash is in the sewer. <laughs> um, there's two paths he can go. He looks behind him, there's a big, like, scary dark sewer. <laughs> behind him, and yeah. in front of him there's a big scary dark sewer, so he has very limited options. Exactly, but one, one way, he does hear someone calling his name. That sounds just like Chris Redfield. Like, hello, Chris Redfield! <laughs> I mean, Ash! Come Chris this Redfield way. here, definitely me! <laughs> Come towards my voice. So if if you walk, okay, you walk towards. Boom! It's actually just a mimicking zombie who sounds exactly like Chris Redfield. You get your fucking face not off immediately. <laughs> so when you reload the game, you go the other way. Uh, honestly, you're joking, but zombies that talk like people would be a crazy. That scary would be really That's fucking scary. scary. That's a really good point. Yeah. There was that movie, The Return of the Living Dead. Yes! Yeah. When they're like, yeah. send more. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It was really awesome. Oh, God. So. Oh, my God. It sounds. So oh, it can my like, God. They're like parrots, so they can mimic the voice of the real people. So you'll be walking around, they'll just be like, Ash Redfield, over here! You'll have to avoid all people. <laughs> that, yeah. That's actually good writing. Yeah. <laughs> that's brilliant. I'm trying I'm trying to like think. So when you finally make your way out of the sewers. Wait, wait, how do you get out of the sewers? There has to be some kind of trick. Yeah, what's the event? What's the, what's the cinematic event for when you finally get out of the sewers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your reward to watch the cinema. Oh my god! That's oh my scary. god. <laughs> Holy shit, he just fucking bolted towards you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Too bad the loading zone will stop him. What 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 is Ash Redfield's greatest challenge? I wanna say. <laughs> the fucking, like, the gorilla shows up in the sewers <laughs> like pouring bees out of the front of his head because he's like The whole setup was like the bees thing. That's beautiful. But he also mimics Chris Redfield so yeah. He's like, Ash, it's me, Chris Redfield, but it's a gorilla spraying bees at you. Nice <laughs> And I, I don't, and then you throw your fucking Spongebob flashlight into him <laughs> He explodes. He explodes and you can more we already fucking exploded into Jim. <laughs> he's fucking explodes again. <laughs> you throw your SpongeBob flashlight at him. It explodes in nitrous oxide and freezes him solid. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy a nice popsicle, and you have the energy to climb out of the sewer. <laughs> you made it way more better. 
Uh, oh, you take the shite. mattress outside out of the SpongeBob flashlight, you fucking throw it at him. <laughs> no. Holy he did not punch my ass as soon as I click off this text. I dare you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my dad were at the beach and we saw Megalodon. Well, what'd you do? Oh, yeah, yeah. How'd that, how'd that work out? Yeah. It was a Megalodon fighting another Megalodon. Ed, what did oh, you yeah? do, though? We were just, like, admiring. We were just standing on the beach admiring it. I saw- I, They were I, thrashing around. Yeah, I saw a pterodactyl one, so, I mean, it does- Where? Know. Like, where? Uh, oh, yes! I was on a hike. Oh, they're gonna get blasted so hard. You saw a pterodactyl on a hike? Yeah. Where? Like, be specific. I was up the fucking mountain, dude. Like, which one, though? Why can't you just name the mountain? One of the Cause, cause I don't have, why should I have to answer to like, you? Like, I can name the beach I was at. What beach was it? Well, I, I don't have to tell you what beach it was. So, you don't believe my story, but, and yet you espouse your own, uh, theory. I'm not saying I don't believe your story, I'm just saying that, why would you not just tell me? Because I want to see the pterodactyl. Well, the problem is this. It was a, it was a, it was a... What? I it love how all the music, the game's <laughs> music just it, it stopped. Did, it did, the, the pterodactyl did tell me not to tell anyone, so that was this big, probably a big thing. Oh, so it spoke. Yeah, how convenient for you. He did tell, he was talking to me. Okay, well, what, I, I can't refute that, so I guess that conversation's over. Well, it, I mean, it just sounds like my thing happened to your thing did, but like, you, you have a different version. What exactly? No, you, <laughs> I love that! Yes. You just, they all just fire a single volley and, yes. and it just decimates all them. All these are dead now. now we can I put focus. you guys with spears we versus focus, rifles. We can focus fully now up here. I'm gonna cry. Don't Tomer cry. laughed at me. Don't cry because I shot I didn't laugh at you, I laughed at, at the <laughs> overwhelming victory cry, against cry, the barbarians. Don't cry because it'd be gone. Don't cry, don't cry, cry Christopher. Don't cry, mm -hmm. How dare you! Oh, he also- <laughs> I should be in a video game He world. invented I Sim Golf. By his brain right now. <laughs> he did Sim Golf, which we never played. He did Railroad Tycoon in 1990. I should be getting shot in the face with a cannon! But he was involved God, in- Chris. <laughs> More like greet a bum turd. Bum like turd. Bum turd. Do you think she would cry if she heard that? How dare you! You can't call me bum turd. You can't call me bum turd. That's not my name. I should be in school and you're calling me bum turd. I should be at, at a toilet with a bum in my turd. She starts doing a high frequency <laughs> scream and her pigtail starts spinning around really fast. <laughs> they start, they stick straight up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the scariest thing ever seen. Wait, what is that? What is that? Use it. Use its power. So that is the bell end, baby. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? 